For car manufacturers, concept cars can mean a great deal, or they can mean nothing at all. Often, they're a way of gauging public interest. But we've always had that one amazing concept car that we pray would make it to production, looking exactly as the way it should be. So let's take a look at some of these forgotten concept cars that should have made it to production. This car debuted at the Los Angeles Auto Show back in 2012. Originally made for the Los Angeles Design Challenge, this car was designed with the idea of what a California Highway Patrol vehicle for 2025 would look like in mind. And that's exactly what the Energy Force concept represents. Designed for this brave and environmentally friendly new world, the Energy Force is powered by a hydrogen fuel cell and four in-wheel electric motors that has a range of 500 miles. The Hydrotech converter is fed by recycled water stored in tanks on the roof. Stylistically, the concept takes key lines, elements, and proportions from the original G-Wagon, but you need to see the vehicle side by side to appreciate the similarities. They include the upward kink on top of the D-pillar, the turn signals mounted on the hood, and the low-mounted horizontal taillights. In the 1990s, Jaguar had a world record setting supercar called the Jaguar XJ220. Then in 2010, Jaguar decided to capture that spirit with a modern take and ended up with the gorgeous Jaguar CX-75. The CX-75 is at heart a research project designed to fuse aerospace and automotive technologies. A complex electric hybrid system that has four electric motors and two miniature gas turbines replaces a typical combustion engine for an output of 778 horsepower and a total range of 560 miles. This car even featured in the 2015 James Bond film, Spectre. Sadly though, despite announcing a limited production run with a maximum of 20 cars, Jaguar had to cancel production due to the global economic crisis given the high price of the car. Designed by Marcello Gandini at Bertone, the Lancio Stratos Zero was first publicly unveiled at the 1970 Turin Motor Show. Arriving 12 months before the Lancio Stratos HF prototype and boasting a futuristic wedge-shaped bodywork, it is low slung standing at just 33 inches tall. Under a triangular hood, the engine bay is home to a 1.6 liter Lancia Fulvia V4 engine with an output of 115 horsepower at 6,200 RPM. Access to the driver's seat was done by flipping up the windscreen and pushing up the steering wheel instead of conventional doors. The black graphic at the base of the windscreen is actually a rubber mat that protects the paint. Once seated in the tight cockpit, the driver's legs ran on each side of the tilting steering column with the gear stick to the right and a futuristic instrument panel to the left. This design pushed the boundaries of how to mesh elegance and the world of rally racing, which in hand created with one of the best looking concept cars ever made. In the early 1990s, BMW worked with the Tal Design Gugiaro Studio. The idea behind the project was to find out if a new supercar offering in the brand's lineup was viable at that time. The Nazca M12 was the first car that was showcased from this partnership. The concept supercar featured a low slung profile with a very aerodynamic silhouette and a transparent cabin made entirely out of glass. The car featured a unique set of doors that was a hybrid between conventional and gullwing doors. To get in the car, you first had to lift the windows upwards, then open the doors to be able to sit. It was powered by a 12 cylinder engine that had 300 horsepower and a top speed of nearly 190 miles per hour. The concept car boasted a carbon fiber chassis and body frame, as well as several lightweight components. Unfortunately, the car was deemed too daring to reach production by BMW after a revision to the M12 was made called the C2, which had similar feedback regarding its status. Electric crossover vehicles are just now starting to come to fruition, but in the early 1990s, this wasn't the case. That is until we saw the BMW E1 concept car, a tall bodied electric car with a spacious interior. The E1 was a car that was ahead of its time, both in terms of practicality and functionality. The range of the car was only rated at 155 miles, but this was still very early in the electric car technology. There are very few concept cars that have been as well done as the E1. When you look at everything the E1 brought to the table, it's interesting to see how electric cars have progressed over time. The Stoke was marketed as the first practical Lamborghini model. Featuring a wagon-like design similar to the Porsche Panamera, the concept garnered a lot of attention in the auto show circle. Although the Urus SUV would come almost a decade later, the Stoke was still a marvelous car. It was about the closest thing to a production car that a concept can get. The V10 engine was powerful and yet the car still looked modest. If you've ever dreamed of driving a four-door Lamborghini model, this would be it. The car was excellent in every way, but never made it into production. When it was unveiled in 2009 as a concept car, the 16C Galabier looked to be the car to show a new direction for the company after the Bugatti Veyron. The four-door sedan with massive power and looks to impress anyone showed just the potential Bugatti could hit in all things. Unfortunately, after the Veyron, the company decided to focus on its successor, the Chiron. While there have been rumors of it being the former's replacement, Bugatti head honchos have previously stated that their target market would not warm up to the 16C Galabier, hence why it never made it to production. In 2013, at the Detroit Auto Show, Nissan unveiled two IDX cars that had all the fans excited. Of the two cars, it was the Nissan IDX Nismo, which really caught the eye of everyone. With its retro design and lines reminiscent of the famous Datsun 510 with its boxy looks, its sporty nature was evident in the design and it was slated to be powered by a small 1.6 liter engine, unlike the V6 powering the 370Z. 
Since then, Nissan has not been forthcoming about whether it is producing the car. It has gone from a sure yes to a restyling, and then finally to stating that they had yet to find a way to create a small real wheel driven sports car. Did you guys enjoy this video? If so, please follow our TikTok and Instagram at Motormount Media. Also, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao.